Oh, oh, why, hello, I didn't hear you come in. <laughs> Welcome back. As always, I'm Professor Stevenson, and I can't believe today is our last lesson on the Kings and Prophets. Today, we will look at Jeremiah. We've already learned so much. King Saul, the first king, King David, King Solomon and the temple, the prophet Elijah, who had so much faith in God, and King Josiah, who obeyed God. Most of our lessons about kings and prophets start the same way. Years pass and more kings choose to ignore God. They worship fake gods and they tell God's people to ignore God too. There was a king named Jehoiakim, who was another bad king. God sent prophets or messengers to remind Jehoiakim and God's people of the truth. Jeremiah was one of these messengers. He told people over and over again that they needed to listen to God. They ignored him. Jeremiah decided to try something new to get the people's attention. He grabbed a pot and he smashed it in front of everyone and told them, this is what will happen if you don't listen to God. Do you think that got their attention and caused them to listen to God? Should I smash this pot? Oh, I really want to, but I don't want to clean it. What do you think? Oh, I'm getting off track. God had a message for Jeremiah to deliver to the people. God told Jeremiah to write the message on a scroll. Jeremiah got help from a friend Baruch who wrote the message from God on the scroll. He brought it to King Jehoiakim. Jeremiah hoped that the king would finally hear God's message and turn back to God. That night, King Jehoiakim sat by the fire and he listened to God's message being read from the scroll. Instead of obeying, the king cut the scroll into pieces and put them in the fire. It was clear that King Jehoiakim was not going to listen to God. Jeremiah and his friend wrote God's message on the scroll again. The king might have thought that he was destroying God's message when he burned it, but nothing can stop God. God didn't give up on his people. He kept sending prophets with messages, telling them to stop sinning and to turn to him. God gave them opportunities to listen to him. We can listen to him too. God invites us to listen to him. Maybe just for fun. If you don't listen to God. Oh, Jeremiah, you were a character. 